just in case any of you like to keep track of biblical dates, today is the 25th day of the 6th month, the year 5781. The months are not just solar, not just lunar, but calculated lunar solar. If the months were calculated only on the moon, then holidays would fall in different seasons every year. So besi besides taking into consideration the sun and the moon, the biblical calendar also has to adjust the dates be every four years because of leap year. This might be because there are not exactly 365 days in each year. There's a matter of hours that, that change. Okay, why am I saying this? Because this is an important date in biblical history. Nehemiah's wall was finished in 52 days. This is the wall, the walls, including, you know, the gates, the famous gates that are surrounding the city of old Jerusalem. There's two Jeru Jerusalems in modern times. They're right next to each other. There's the old part, which residents there are called old Jerusalem. And then there's the new part, which has more modern stores, and they call that New Jerusalem. When I visited there in 2003, I stayed in the uh, Mount Zion Hotel. Um, besides it being an old historic structure, it has a view of old Jerusalem. Now, why is Nehemiah's wall important? He was serving the king of Persia. By the way, Persia is modern Iran, not Iran, Iran. And the king of Iran, Persia, gave him the ability to go back to his hometown, Jerusalem, and rebuild the wall. And he gave them workers, and he gave them provision. And he let him take a break, a vacation, from his job of ser serving the Persian king to do this. So it's something to remember, and it occurred approximately in 444 BCE. BCE means before the Common Era. And I try to keep uh, track of these things because they're meaningful. And past, present, and future, they're all related. 